Hey guys and gals, what's going on? Dane the Man coming at you on a 60s rule channel. And uh, lately I've been getting a lot of comments on my uh, paint jobs on my models. And uh, a couple of you requested that I uh, make a video and show you guys how I make my thinner for my uh, craft paints. And uh, some of you guys might call it the moonshine secret sauce. I call it the torpedo juice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, um, anyway, um, I know a lot of you guys out there, uh, you know, there's probably like a, a hundred videos out there on how to mix your, uh, you know, your craft paints over here with, uh, you know, people are using different methods, you know. Uh, some might use uh, <clears throat> this floor care over here. Some might use this uh, thinner, this all reliable over here, Mr. Color. I've seen guys use windshield wiper fluid, uh, uh, Windex, and uh, whatever. I, I tried all those methods, and uh, uh, they're okay, but uh, I found that this works the best for me. And... Um, uh, what I'm going to do right now is put out a little disclaimer out there. This is uh, my method. Uh, I did not invent this method. Uh, I am not the creator of this method. This is just uh, something I learned from, uh, you know, watching YouTube videos. And uh, actually, I got this uh, formula from a guy uh, on YouTube who got it from a guy who got it from a guy who got it from another guy. <laughs> you, you know the story, right? So, uh, anyway, this is just an alternative, okay? Uh, I learned how to uh, use these craft paints because I lived in an apartment and there's no way I could vent out the fumes from, you know, my paint booth. So, uh, you know, I couldn't shoot enamels or lacquers in the house. So, uh, you know, I learned from guys like the late, great Chris Cortell. Chris Chapman and, uh, you know, a few other guys out there who are uh, using craft paints. And uh, and this works well for me, you know. And, uh, you know, all you got to do is, uh, you know, give it a shot. You know, you got nothing to lose, right? So, uh, with that being said, this is what we're going to start off with here. I'll show you the uh, products we're going to use. Actually, there's four main components in this uh, thinner, Okay. You got your carrier here, which is distilled water, okay? Then we're going to add some uh, isopropyl alcohol, right? I got 70. I guess you can use 90, but uh, this works well. I'm using a 70. This is going to break up the water tension, okay? Then you need a carrier, all right? This is the uh, Liquitex matte medium. This is going to be our binder right over here. This is going to keep the pigments in check right here okay now as far as flow improver you have uh, a few options over here okay you can use this flow improver right here Windsor Newton okay and I already mixed up a little batch over here it's a uh, one part uh, focus baby this is a uh, one part uh, flow improver to 10 parts water and I actually use this on my Badger Ghost Tints. I was having trouble with dry tip, and I added a few drops of this into the cup, and uh, it seemed to uh, remedy that uh, little issue I had over there. But uh, that's one option. Another option over here is this Floor Care Pledge. It's gone by different names. I don't know. I, what do they call it now? Revive or something? But I've had this bottle for a couple of years now. I see it got a quite a bit left there. And uh, actually, this is what I used on my last batch, and it worked out pretty good. And basically, it's acrylic product, and it levels out. So you can use that, or we can use this over here, this old reliable Mr. Color Leveling Thinner, right? And uh, you can actually just add this to your craft paints, but I'm going to show you how to stretch it out and make a big batch. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use these four guys right here, okay? This is going to be our components right here that are going to go into the uh, acrylic thinner, okay? Now, uh, what we're going to do, let me show you this right here. I wrote this up there. I hope my math isn't that fuzzy. <laughs> 
Hey guys, you know, if, if I get a senior moment during this video, just, you know, <laughs> just, just work through it, all right? <laughs> so, um, we're going to have 12 ounces of water, distilled water, okay? We're going to use 12 ounces of matte medium, that liquid text, four ounces of alcohol, and four ounces of flow improver. So, we're going to make a 32 ounce, 32 ounce batch, okay? Now, if uh, we're going to use this guy right over here, you can buy these cups anyway, these measuring cups. If you don't have a measuring cup, you can break it down by percentages. So you can have 40% of water, 40% matte medium, 10% uh, alcohol, and 10% flow improvement, and there's your 100% right there, okay? So when we're done with our 32 ounces, I'm going to put it in this bottle here. So like I said, if you don't have a measuring cup, you can take a bottle like this and just break it down 40, 40, 10, 10, you know. It, 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 uh, it'll get you in the ballpark. You know, like I said, this is not an exact science, guys. This is just, you know, something I worked out for myself. And, you know, it, it works for me, you know. All right, guys. Uh, so what we're going to do first, we're going to use the uh, distilled water, okay. We're going to go, uh, let's see. We're going to put uh, 12 ounces right over there. We're going to hit that line. So let's put this in over here. Let's see if this is going to come out. Let's see how fast this can come out of this uh, spray bottle here. Let me see. You know what? Well, I just take this off. It'll be a lot quicker that way. So shake that off. And we're going to, let's see, 12 ounces. We're going to try to hit that line over there. So I'm trying to get this in focus, guys. And uh, I'm going to try not to hit the uh, camera while I'm doing this. Uh, I've got to be a contortionist <laughs> to do this. So I think we got, uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got about, we got about 12 ounces of water in there. Okay. Let's put this on the side. All right. Next, we're going to add some of this alcohol here. Now we're going to do uh, we're going to do uh, four ounces of alcohol. This is going to break up the water tension. Okay. So let's see. We're going to go up to four. It's going to be about sixteen ounces. So we're going to add this. Uh, you know, it really helps, guys. If you take the seal off, <laughs> that helps a lot. <laughs> Let's see if I could take this off over here. Oh, boy. Nothing like being prepared, right? Uh, I'm going to have to puncture this. Hold on, guys. I'm going to pause it for a second. All right, guys. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it helps if you take the seal off. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go up to 16 now. We're going to add four ounces of uh, alcohol. Okay, let's go up to that 16 ounce line. All right, let's see what we got over here. Okay, we're pretty close over there. All right, there's our alcohol. All right, let me see if you can see that. Okay, we're just about up to the 16 ounce line. Now we're going to add this uh, liquid text. We're going to go, we're going to put uh, 12 ounces of this uh, matte medium in here. We're going to go up to the 28 ounce line. Now this, when you, you add this, let me see if this is in, okay, this is open. That's good. <laughs> we're going to just shake it up a little bit over here before I put it in. Now this it gets a little tricky. You got to put this in slowly. Not all at once because it's going to want to gel up on you, okay? So, what you're going to do is you're going to stir this in slowly, guys, okay? Let me see if I can get this in camera, okay? You got to add this little bits at a time, okay? Because if you put this in all at once, it's going to want to gel up here. So you're going to have to blend this in, all right, very slowly. Okay. So, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it over here and I'm not, because I don't want you to see me stirring this for like 20 minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to pause it here and I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, I'm back over here, and uh, as you can see, I added the uh, rest of the Liquitex matte medium, and we're just about there, you know, 20, I don't know if you can see that, but about 28 ounces, give or take, you know. Like I said, it's not an exact scientist, and I'm not a chemist, so. <laughs> so, I added this in here, and you can see, it'll take about 10 minutes, you know. But you got to add it in slowly and mix it up. And then you can see this is what you're going to end up. So see that there's there's the viscosity, which this is what we have over here. This is what you're looking for. OK, see that we're almost done with this, guys. Almost done. All right. Now I'm going to try this over here. This is our uh, leveling thinner. Basically, it's a flow improver. So we're going to add. Four ounces. We're going to go up to 32. Oh, let me get in focus. We're going to go right up to this mark over here. And we're going to blend this in. And let's see what we got here. Let's pour this in. Sorry if my hand's in the way, guys. I'm trying to work around the camera here. So we're going to go approximately up to 32. Let's see. With, yeah. I had just uh, a little more. Okay, here's our flow improver right there. We're going to stir this up. And like I said, guys, uh, this is this is an alternative, you know. You know, just give it a shot. Like I said, you got nothing to lose, you know. I mean, oops, sorry. Let me use my other hand here. <laughs> and, uh... You know, practice, uh, you know, get an old body, go to a, a, a show, pick up some glue bombs, you know, prep the body like you normally do for your for your uh, bills, you know, or you can uh, get a piece of poster board right here and get this at the dollar store, you know, hit it with some primer and then, uh, you know, mix your, uh, your paints up, you know, and as far as the viscosity goes, uh, I don't know what airbrushes you're using, what pressures you have, what needle size. You, that's that's something that you're, you're going to have to figure out yourself, you know. But uh, I have a couple of airbrushes, gravity feed brushes, you know. So uh, that's looking pretty good right there. Okay. All right. And when you're done, that's what it's going to look like, guys, right there. All right. So uh, when you're done with this batch, you can just pour it in. A, make sure it's an airtight container. This is going to be great because it's got a little spout on top over there. And uh, what you can do is you can uh, buy some of these at the uh, beauty supply right over here. You can see here's the here's a batch that I uh, made up. Uh, actually, it's been a while since I moved here. I, this is the first time I'm making a new batch, so. And what you can do is, uh, like I said, put it in these containers. And then before you use it, you know, give it a good shake. Make sure it's blended well. And then if there's air bubbles in there, make sure that the bubbles dissipate before you add it to your uh, your uh, craft paint, okay? Because the last thing you want to do is inject air bubbles into the paint. So, you know, let that settle down for a few minutes, and then you can mix it up with your, uh, with your craft paint. So, uh, guys... Uh, like I said, uh, you know, give it a shot, you know, um, what do you got to lose, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, if, if you're comfortable, you know, with spraying your enamels and your lacquers, knock yourself out. Uh, I'm not trying to deter anybody from, uh, you know, using whatever products they're using, you know, I'm just showing you that there's, uh, you know, alternatives out there, you know, so, uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, you know what? Uh, I think I want to pause the video here, and then I'm going to show you how I mix it with my craft paint. So, uh, yeah, we're up to 14 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to pause it here, guys, and I'm going to be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And, uh, yeah, see, we got uh, some uh, thinner over here left over from my last batch that I made. So, uh what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how I mix my craft paints with the acrylic thinner. And uh, I got a build I'm working on right now, a, a 31 uh, Johan Cadillac Cabriolet. 
and uh, this is one of the colors I selected. It's going to be a two-tone, but uh, we're going to start with these metallics over here. And, uh, you know, like I said, as far as the ratios are concerned, uh, I don't know what brushes you have, what pressures you're using, but uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm using over here. Uh, this is my workhorse over here. This is the uh, Mr. Hobby uh, PS, uh, it was a 290, and uh, I absolutely love this thing. I've been using this for about two months now. And it's got a large cup on it. It's got a 0.5 needle. And it's great for me because I got arthritis in my hands, you know. <laughs> I know getting old sucks, but uh, what am I going to do? <laughs> and uh, it's got an adjustable fan spray on it right here. You could, It comes with two caps, actually. It's got the, the regular cap that just, you know, sprays out, you know. Uh, and this one over here, you can adjust that to a horizontal or a vertical spray. Love it. And it's got a 0.5 needle in it. So, uh it's good for the, you know, the heavier metallics. Now, uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to mix this with this, okay? Get yourself one of these um, little uh, shot glasses over here with the increments on it. So you got ounces and you got, uh, where is it? And you got milliliters on the other side. So what we're going to do, I'm going to make up an ounce. So we're going to do, uh, the, the best thing to do, guys, is... Uh, Start out with 50-50. Uh, if you need to add more, you can always add more. You can even go 60-40 if you want. But you, you can, like I said, I don't know what kind of airbrush you're using. Uh, you're just going to have to experiment and, uh, you know, trial and error there, okay? And uh, we're going to put it in this bottle over here. I mean, I got two of these in a package at the dollar store. Yeah, one buck. This is a one-ounce bottle. And it's got a cool little uh, tip over here. You just you know, loosen that up and you just pour it right into your cup you know so we're gonna we're gonna put it in here when we're done all right so let's start out with this we'll give it a little shake because this thing is kind of old so oh yeah speaking about old paint uh after you mix it up before we pour it into the cup i have this funnel made up and you see i got a little screen in there uh i highly recommend that especially with craft paint some Sometimes, you know, you got craft paint laying around and you don't want any debris going into your brush. And uh, it's always uh, wise to, uh, you know, strain it before you put it into your uh, your bottle, okay? So let's start with this. We're going to do a half. Let me see. Hopefully you guys can see that. Come on, baby. Like I said, this is not rocket scientists over here. Uh... <laughs> You know, I'm not a friggin' chemist, so uh, eh, that's that's a little bit more. Well, well, come on, baby, come out there. All right, I think that's good right there. Yeah, it's about a half ounce. Okay, close that. This thing was shaken up before. Shake it up anyway. Okay, I don't see too many air bubbles in there, so we're gonna. We're going to put uh, our acrylic thinner in there up to the uh, one ounce line. Okay, I think that's good right there. Now, as far as stirring it up, you can use a couple of methods. You get the old uh, stirring stick over here, or you can use one of these stirrers over here. So, let's see if we can stir this up with this... Uh, this mixer over here without making a mess. It's going to take a while to get blended, guys. There we go. It's blending in nice. See that? Let's see what kind of consistency we got. You see that? Let me see if I can get a close-up. Uh, come on, focus. See the way that's uh, dripping off the end of that stirrer over there? Might have to go a little bit more on the thinner, you know? Yeah, remember, guys, if it's too heavy, it's not going to flow through your brush. If it's too thin, it's going to spin on you. So like I said, you're going to have to play with it, you know? But I'm telling you, once you get it all dialed in, man... You're really going to like this method, I'm telling you. 
There we go. I'll put that on the side. I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. That's enough. Okay, I'll put the cap back on there. Give it a little mix over here. See guys, you gotta you gotta do this slowly. If you go too fast with this mixer, you're gonna inject the air in it, and you don't want that. So, oops. And let's see what we got now. Yeah, that's a lot better. See that? That's what you're looking for right there. Like I said, after you um, you know, you experiment with this. You want to add a little more uh, thinner, then you add more thinner, you know. Okay, we're going to pour this in the bottle right here. And this should flow all the way down with no problem. Let's get this in focus over here. There we go. You can tell right away by the, the way it's flowing right into the bottle. I think it's a pretty good consistency right there. See what I'm talking about, guys? Let me see if I can get this in focus for you. Come on, baby, focus. You see all that crap in there? That came out of the craft bottle. That, you do not want that in your airbrush. You see that? See that big piece of crap over there? That's why I strain it. Otherwise, you know... If you don't do that, you're going to have problems down the road. So I always strain it. So let's put this on the side in the cup over there. And there you go, guys. That's it. It's all mixed up, ready to be sprayed. And you put this little cap down here. It's airtight. And uh, when you want to use it, just pull this out and just pour it right into your cup. So uh, there it is. So guys, uh, one second, I'll be right back. Hey guys, uh, yeah, back at the bench over here. And uh, yeah, that's how I mix up my uh, craft acrylic paints. And um, what I got in front of me here is uh, I got these two examples out here, okay? And the uh, reason why I did that is because I just wanted to show you how nice these models can come out with this craft acrylic paint, you know? So one of these models is painted with craft acrylic and the other one is painted with duplicolor lacquer. So can you tell the difference? You know which is which? You give up? <laughs> this guy right here. This was all done with craft acrylic paint guys and it was topped off with x22 tamiya clear so that's the results you can get with craft acrylic paint guys once you like i said once you get everything dialed in you know practice with it and uh you know possibilities are endless uh you can take that you know formula that i showed you you can tweak it you know you can do anything you want with it really but uh what I what I showed you is a uh, a technique that works for me. All right, I don't know if it'll work for anyone else, but uh, like I said, guys, there are alternatives. You know, so uh, you know uh, the sky's the limit. You know, so uh, knock yourselves out and give it a shot. You know, what do you got to lose, right? <laughs> All right, guys, it's been a long video. I had really fun making this for you, and I managed to get through the whole damn video without having a senior moment. So that's a first. <laughs> Anyway, guys, remember, ain't nothing to it but to do it. You guys take care, be safe, and keep on building.